Hey y'all, it is me. Stop, drop, and roll on. And y'all already know what I just got through doing. Um, I had to get in here and get this taken care of. Um, my hair is looking like it's looking because I had to wash the brown cotton ball last night. You know, it, it do you a whole lot of good because you just, you know, do it back up. But that's what water's for. You know, that's why shampoo is made. And that's the reason why. We get a new day every day, okay? So I'm not really concerned about, and, and that used to be a thing, you know, I'm going to mess my hair up. I got two hands, I got water, I got shampoo, uh, whatever you're using for your hair, and that's enough. I'm good. What a day. I had a day, y'all. It was a day. First of all, I got a compliment today from a man. And, uh, I was like, just like that. I ain't playing. I I'm not playing. And the man was P. Airdy. P. Airdy, um, is in, uh, Cali. And so, um, he, he had, uh, texted me, let me know what was going on and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, okay. And so my sister has sent me something in the mail today. I got a package unexpected. And so, uh, when I, you know, got the package, got, got in here and got the package, I was like, okay, what is this? You know, and I opened it up and, um, every. Everybody know I like soap. So she sent me this soap called Be Like Water. And uh, she, one thing in it for sure is patchouli. And that is one of, both, she and I both like, 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 like patchouli, the smell of patchouli. And uh, this particular one has some flaxseed in it. And I was just like, hmm. So she was like, you know, hitting on all cylinders. So she sent this to me. And then, um. She sent me these little crochet washcloths and, um, you know, to for exfoliation and all that stuff. They know I'm a girly, girly girl, too. And so, um, then she sent me this top. And I was like, this is cute. So, I put the top on first. I was looking at it and I was like, can I wear this? Can I wear it? And then I put the top on, y'all. And it did look. I like the top. I mean, I like the top. And um, at that point, you know, I had put on some yoga pants and stuff so I could get my workout going. And um, I took a picture in the shirt and everything. I Like I said, I had my yoga pants on. And I sent it to Pierre. And I was like, look what came in the mail today. And he texted me back and he said, I have to admit, babe, you are really thinning down he put that in a text and um he i think you know y'all i talked to y'all about emotional feeding the other day and you know when your credibility and i'm just gonna say this is shocked ouch when your credibility is shocked and it does happen. You go on so many programs and then, you know, start so many diets and, and stop eating them and then start. And then one minute you're doing it, your credibility is just like anything else. It can be shot. And I have to admit that I feel like before up to this point, my credibility was shot with Pierre because he has seen me over the years. Just, you know, start so much stuff and do so much stuff and put myself through so many things. Y'all just don't know the half of it. And, um, you know, he just has been like, okay. And, you know, he never says he, he is. I have to say this much about him. He never says anything like, oh, and here we go again or nothing like that. I'm the one that has that internal, you know, in the past implication about how long is this going to last? I mean, just basically opening up my mouth and putting my mouth on myself. And so, um, I, you know, sometimes we don't give other people an opportunity to say stuff. We say it ourselves. And so, um, anyway, I think what has really made him kind of sit up and take notice is the times when he has been out 
and come in and I'm up exercising and he's just been like, you know, whoa. And this time with, uh, learning literally for real, getting serious and learning how to work these remotes in here because at first, I mean, I was intimidated by using all these remotes and he was just like, okay, you really do know how to do it this time, don't you? And I said, when you wrote it down, when you wrote it down, I, um, I wrote it. No, when you said it, I wrote it down and he saw me writing it down, but I had written it down before y'all. And then I lost the paper. Well, this time I wrote it on a piece of cardstock and I put it right back over there by the player. And so I was like, okay, you're not going to lose this. You're going to keep on doing it just like you do everything else until you get it. And then you're just going to stop, stop tripping and do it. So I don't have to use the paper no more. I can just get on here, do it, and then be done with it. So I think that that has kind of amped my credibility up with him um, because, like I said, he can come in here at any given time and I'll be working out and it has been in the morning. It's been in the evening. It's been like I run in there, get here, run in there and put dinner on and then come in here and work out after I get the stuff that I have to stand there and look at, you know, completed. And so it's about a mindset. And I don't know who made this statement, but every time I have read it, but now I've memorized it, they made this comment about when things don't work right, or you don't know how things, how to fix stuff, find the one thing, stop focusing on all the stuff that don't go right. I have things on my body that I wish, you know, was a different way. I said it before, but the bottom line is, what do focus on the one thing that is right the one thing that is right and it said focus on the one thing that's right instead of focusing on all the things that either aren't right yet or could go wrong find the one thing and focus on that and so the one thing that I'm focusing on I'm not focusing on more than one thing but I am determined that exercise is going to be what one of my attributes is one of the things that I um that I actually do without you know like people just like oh he's just a you know natural born athlete and she's I I'm not really opposed to being called you know an athlete I don't have a problem with that and so um I just want to get myself to a point where if nobody calls me that, that I know in myself that I am doing everything that I can to move toward that. It might not be pretty and it sure ain't going to be perfect, but I really feel good. I Oh, this is, I forgot to tell y'all what I did. I, I knew I had a Leslie Sansone tape that was like hardcore. This is before Leslie started, you know, getting nice and... You know, let's say kind of beastie on this, okay? And this one is, uh, the runtime on this one is like 95 minutes because it's too, like, like a cool down, like it's a 40, one part is aerobics. That's the part I did. It's 45 minutes long. And then there's a full, I don't know why I'm scratching, okay? I need to stop that in the name of Jesus. Now, that's the devil. But then the other part is aerobics and she ain't playing your arms is almost moving from the very beginning she this is one of the old school ones where she actually do the uh make you check your i was gonna say check your temperature check your uh pulse and all that razzle dazzle that's right right there that right there that's the one i've been looking for i knew i had that dvd in here and um i was kind of like which one of these is that one that was just really something else? Now, the second part of that is on the floor. It's like a strength training part, okay? So, if you interested in that thing, you know, I think that's the one that had a strength training on it. I just did the aerobic part, and it, it'll get you right, okay? Well, y'all see, that's all I got to say. In the book today, one of the questions 
is um how does your response no she said uh about exercise i have learned to embrace the benefits instead of resisting the hardships Draw a line down the center of a piece of paper. This is an exercise. Do it if you want to. On one side, list all the hardships of exercising. And on the other side, list all the benefits. Which list has more influence over you? Do you feel the benefits outweigh the hardships? Or do you feel the hardships outweigh the benefits? Can you imagine that it might be possible for you to embrace the benefits Rather than resisting the hardships. And that's just a question to ask yourself. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I got my workout in today. Okay? And I'm getting ready to get myself desalted. Um, I'm still enjoying my soap that I got from um, Monica Peaches. And now I got some more soap to try. And all that good stuff. Y'all have a good day. If y'all haven't did your workout, do your workout. If you don't plan on doing your workout, are you making, like, excuses for not doing it? Number one, think about your credibility. And number two, maybe this is the time for you to do that exercise that I just discussed. All right, y'all have a good one. Toodles!